again, and we'll be more than happy to give it to him. Broderick Hopper. Coming up next on Absolute Boxing, we will have another four-round fight, and this one will deal with Curtis Smith against William Armstead. These are two guys, as you can see, in the back getting ready for the fight and doing their thing, so it should be quite interesting how it is. All right, we'll go ahead, and of course, the decision is going to be made basically how it was. Was it a hit butt? Was it a punch? Was it a knockout? It's going to be interesting when we hear the official decision. I think they've come to the conclusion, and by the looks of things, I think it's going to be a knockout because of the simple fact that Navarro is in the ring. Why would I stay in the ring if it wasn't a knockout? I'm going to tell you right now. I think the persistence of Yaya McClain as a promoter really pay dividends because after the last fiasco of having three fights in so early and the way they did, he wanted to make sure the right decision was given, not for a fighter that he wanted to win, but for a fighter. See, I think being a former fighter, he knows when someone quits and when someone should be awarded a decision. Oh, definitely. Uh, like you said, being a former fighter himself, he, he understands what we go through and the, and the amount of time that we put into preparation for these fights. And, and he's definitely um, not your average promoter. He's very actively involved. And that's a great thing as far as for, for uh, the Atlanta fans because Yaya is definitely trying to put in the best show and bring quality fights to the city of Atlanta. I tell you what, a commitment to excellence. We do have a decision on this fight. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Osei, who can give us the final details. Osei? All right, fight fans. Due to an accidental headbutt in the first round, the referee has stopped the fight. At two minutes and 41 seconds into the first round, the winner by no contest from Inglewood, California, review Navarro. Well, there it is. It is Navarro, and I've got to bring in Yaya McClain here while we talk. What was going on? That was the most lengthiest conversation I've ever seen between a promoter, but why were you so content to make sure a, a good verdict was finally found? Well, actually it wasn't. I mean, he said winner by no contest, but it's really a no contest, so there is no winner. And the reason being is because if a fighter, I mean, it's just like the last fight, a fighter quit and he still got paid. How a fighter gonna quit and don't lose? If you fight and you quit, you lose and you don't get paid. In this case, I could, I would still pay him because he got hit and he quit. So you lose. I mean, there's no two ways about that. But you know, we got a new commission and they, they like I said before, man, I, you know, it's, it's very trying times in the uh, state of Georgia with this boxing. Well, maybe you can't say it, but sometimes incompetence is where it lies and the incompetence of not being able to make a decision. We've looked at it several times in slow motion, and it was a punch. It was not a headbutt. So that was the situation. That's what we need to do. Bring them over here before they make that decision. I tell and you back what. that thing up. And back that thing on up. <laughs> back it up. Back it on up. We're not going to back it up. We're getting ready for our very next fight. As you saw, our fighters are getting ready. And, of course, it's going to be a good one. It's Absolute Boxing. I'm Ronnie Duncan, along with Rico Hoy. We'll be back with much more. If you can give it, can you take it? And overhand right that time by Roman. Got a knockdown in the fight. It appeared to be a right uppercut by Rohan Wilson. And as you can see, he's landing some big punches right now. And Hillman appears to be in trouble. Hillman takes another shot. Hillman goes down. Another right hand that time. And there it is, another knockdown. Doesn't look like he's getting up at all. We're back here, Absolute Boxing, right here in Atlanta, Georgia. And as you can see, the ladies are enjoying the fight action. As, of course, the lady in red says, hey, I like that music as we pan along. And I tell you what, every time you look at Yaya McClain's table, he makes sure the ladies are looking nice. And there's his mom right there in the glasses and his daughter. That's right, his daughter right there in the front and his mom sitting behind. And uh, Yaya brought the entire family here for a great evening of boxing. You know what, when you talk about boxing here in the state of Georgia, they are having some hard times dealing with a commission that is learning how to do their job all over again. You would think with Evander Holyfield, you would think with individuals like Austin or individuals who have won world championships and won world titles, 
you would think they would have their act together, but apparently there's still some disorganization, and Yaya has a commitment to excellence. Oh, definitely. And I don't think it's just Atlanta itself. I just think it's anywhere, you know, that's down here in the Bible Belt. Right, everywhere I've fought in, in the we South, the, the, right the, the commissions have been pretty much uh, our new, you know, new upstars. I want you really haven't had their act together. So I don't think it's just Atlanta, Florida. Georgia. I think it's just the, the, the entire Southern area itself. Great. Okay, well, we'll come right back with much more of Absolute Boxing. Yippee-yi-yi, man. F the blase, man. This is how we play. All right, we're back here at center stage, and of course, the A, the T, and the L, Atlanta, Georgia. And of course, we get ready for our third bout of the evening. There's a four round contest, and it is in the welterweight division. I'm talking Curtis Smith and William Armstead. Two guys, as you can see, getting ready for their fight. But right now, we're going to see how rough and ready they truly are. And I'm talking about the one and only Osei from B103. They call him the Dark Secret. <laughs> All right, fight fans. Are y'all really ready to see some action in this next bout? Make some noise, please. We don't want another one. Let's get them started. Making his way to the ring. William Palmstead. Well, there's William Armstead, another young man out of Columbus, Ohio, and the record, not impressive, two and three, no losses by draw, <laughs> but two and three, he's got three losses on the record. There he is, William Armstead in the all-white trunks, and uh, if he doesn't look like a fighter, he's built like one. Oh, it definitely looks like he's in, in pretty good shape for this fight, and maybe, you know, he's uh, trying to step it up now, he wants to become a 500 uh, fighter, so... Hopefully he'll put on a great show for us tonight. All right, now we're waiting the introduction of his opponent, Osei. William Armstead's opponent coming to the ring now, Curtis Smith. Curtis Smith, four and two, right out of here. And the A, the T, and the L. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I know he's a pretty good fighter. Anytime I see Mr. Goosby in that corner. So that, well, I, I've, I've seen Curtis before. And they call him KO, and he, the way he was talking in the locker room, he's not trying to be in here for four rounds. Your judges for this fight, Erwin Deutsch, Edward Kanner, Eddie Morgan, Eddie Rowe Morgan. Your timekeeper is James Corb, and counting for the knockdown is Jim Corb. The referee is Brian Stutz. Fighting out of the blue corner from Columbus, Ohio, with a record of two, three, and zero, weighing in at 145 pounds. Make some noise for William Armstead! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. Residing in Atlanta, Georgia. With a record of four and two. Weighing in at 141 pounds. Make some noise for Curtis Smith! <laughs> Fighters to the center of the ring. All right, there it is. We've got, of course, a welterweight contest. And you said this one, Rico Hoy, you don't see going the distance because somebody's talking knockout and they talking bad. We'll see. We're definitely going to see. I'm, 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 not, I'm not a fighter that goes in and looking for a knockout. But like I say, the way Curtis was talking in the locker room, he wants to end this fight and end it fast. I tell you what, both of these fighters didn't look like they liked one another because, man, there was a lot of job breaking going on. All white trunks, young man out of Columbus, Ohio, William Armstead. The black and white trunks, I'm talking Curtis Smith. I tell you what, William Armstead came out like a bull on attack, and now he's caught up in a headlock by Curtis Smith. A whole lot of hugging going on here in the opening round of this scheduled four-round contest. So far, we've got a no contest. Navarro, first round. They said he accidentally hit butt. Broderick Hopper, first bout of the evening. Went the distance, but it was a victory for Julius Jackson out of Cincinnati, Ohio. I don't think Curtis Smith is too enthused or finds a lot of fun in the boxing technique of the one wild one who goes into the corner, William Armstead. 
Who taught William Armstead how to fight? Because I don't want to go to that school of boxing. Not at all. William Armstead is coming from the, the school of hard knocks. He's just coming out swinging. I guess that's an Ohio thing right there because he coming out trying to gun him.